Visual Studio Code is one of my favourite IDs of all times, for reason that you can see here, and today I thought I'd share some of my favourite tips and tricks to improve your VS Code experience. To start, here's a tip to make the editor look nicer. Hit Control and Comma, and then below the last line, type in window.titlebarstyle, then type in custom. Save the file, and then you'll be prompted to restart. Once you've restarted, you'll see that the title at the top looks a lot nicer and blends in much better with the editor in general. The next tip is very helpful if you use HTML often. Open up an empty HTML file and type in an exclamation mark. Then hit enter. You should have an empty HTML document with only some default tags put in to save you a lot of time and effort. The next tip is actually an extension that is very helpful if you want to show off your code to others. Go to the extension tab and type in presentation mode. Then click on this. This extension by Juan Polanco is very helpful to show off your code. I have already have it installed, but once you've installed it, come back into your file and hit Control, Shift and P and type in pre presentation mode. This will launch your file into a enlarged version so you can show off your code. To, to get out of it, just hit escape. So the next trick is another trick to make your window look nicer. You're going to want to head back into settings, then underneath window.title plus title, add window.title. Now you have a few options. Active editors, separators, root name and path, dirty. But the default here is dirty active editor short separator root name separator app name. That shows that settings.json is unsaved, the folders VS Code tricks, and Visual Studio Code is the app. However, I could easily edit this just by moving, for example, dirty over, for example, here. And now, I saved it. If I make a change, that's going to show up over there. Or, uh, let's see, I don't really like the fact that it has the app name. Just get rid of that. And now I've got settings.json and VS Code tricks. So, very helpful and very fun to play around with until you find a, a combination that suits you. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you. Uh, enjoy your day, and I'll see you all in the next video.